Of protesters marched in front of federal court downtown today. They want Detroit declared ineligible as the city is facing the largest municipal bankruptcy in U.S. history. And more history will be made when a sitting governor takes the witness stand during the important eligibility trial currently underway. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is live from federal court this afternoon. Okay, Jim, when will the governor testify? That's set for Monday, Jeff, and Detroit wouldn't be here in bankruptcy court if it had not been approved and authorized by Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. I think the governor's feeling a lot of pressure to appear transparent in connection with some of these issues, that there was a lot of conflict over how this how the chapter 9 was filed. Governor Rick Snyder gave a limited 3-hour deposition in the bankruptcy case just 3 weeks ago. Did he violate his oath to uphold the Michigan Constitution, which protects pensions against cuts when he authorized Detroit's bankruptcy? That's starting to get into legal opinions and I thought it was best to leave to the judicial branch, particularly a bankruptcy judge. In other words, federal bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes could decide pensions can be cut. 20,000 Detroit City Retirees could be affected. Is that a good thing? You think that helps to get the truth out and transparency? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, him and some of the other state officials that were involved in it, or Kevin Orr, too. But you know, only time will tell next week. Another key witness to testify at the end of the city's case is emergency manager Kevin Orr. I am the embodiment of the city as emergency manager. I'm the spokesman for the city, and the decisions that I've made or, and will make in the future are probably of concern to some folks. Now, it's important to keep in mind the burden of proof that Detroit is eligible for bankruptcy is on Kevin Orr and on the city. But what are the issues on trial? I'll explain those next hour at 6. Jeff, Joanne? Well, Jim, it seems like I've asked this before, but how long could this go? Three weeks have been set aside. Not every day of those three weeks, but the judge yeah. has set through the first week of November, if necessary. And that's just for this portion. I mean, there are remaining legal aspects of this, correct? Well, and those rulings could come after this. This is only the issues of yeah. eligibility, whether Detroit is eligible. There are a lot of those issues. I'm going to lay all those out for you next hour. Okay, Jim, thank you.